I've evaporated this milk on the stove to this consistency. And now we are going to add sugar. We are going to make pita, and for pita you need sugar syrup, and right now we're going to make sugar syrup from water and sugar. We are making pite, and what pite is, is basically a flat, round disc with, called kheer, which is just dried milk, and then we are going to put it in a batter of milk, flour, and suji. Then we are going to deep fry it, and after it's frying, we are going to put it in syrup. Right now, we are going to make the batter for pite, and to make the batter, we need some flour, suji, and milk. Now we're frying the pita. Now this pita is done frying. We're going to drain it from the oil and then put it in the sugar syrup. This pate is done frying, so now I'm going to put in the sugar here. to make puppy shop. We are going to make the inside of it, which we just took some regular milk and we have evaporated on the stove to this right consistency. We are going to add some coconut and we already added sugar. Here is the inside of the puppy shop. To make the outside, you have to make a batter that is made out of Regular flour, suji, rice flour, and some sugar, and some milk.
like pooey. Pooey is a dumpling. And the inside is just coconut, dried milk, and some sugar. And the outside is just some rice flour. So now that we have already made the puli, we're going to cook it in milk. Now to cook it in milk, we're going to boil it. Add some sugar. And for aroma, we're going to add a few tejpata. Then we put the poo. And then we cook the milk until the milk, milk is thick. We are making payash, and payash goes with pati shakta, puri, and pite. To make payash, we need milk. Basmati rice, sugar, kismis, cardamom seed, pistachios, cashews, and tejpata. Milk. Now we're going to heat up to payash, the payash till it's about half the volume. We have made pite, puli, and pati shapta. Pite, puli, pati shapta, and pai. And it also symbolizes the end of rice harvest.